What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every Sunday, me and this little beautiful thing over here, I call my wife, I give you guys great tips, tricks, and information that will hopefully entice, enhance, and bring your relationship to a whole new level. Right? And a positive one, hopefully, at that. And if you don't, or you're not in a relationship right now, you don't have a partner, don't worry. You guys can take all this great information, store it for later. Yeah, file it. And then utilize it when you find that special person or you think you found that special person because some of the information we provide, you might start weeding out some people, which would probably be better for you too as well, right? You're not wasting time. You're on, on this earth for only a limited amount of time. So you want to make sure that time is used properly, right? right. You don't want to waste it on anybody or anything. You can't waste time. You can't buy it. I wish I could buy time. I would buy so much of it. Yeah, time would be good, right? Yeah. There's all different types of movies where they just, you know, they live on time. So right. anyway, this week we've got a little, uh, like, example, I guess, for you guys. So, you know, when we've talked in past shows, we've talked about how date night is very important with a relationship. Obviously, in the beginning, when you first start dating, you're taking the girl out or, you know, the guy, whatever it is, and you guys are going to do fun things. You guys are bonding. You guys are having fun. You guys are learning more about each other. Um, and their likes, maybe habits, sports, whatever it may be. So at that point, you know, we do the exact same. Right. So we, you know, we live by example. We're showing you guys kind of what it is. So this last Saturday, we decided we were going to go do something really cool. And we want to go to this different place that's open up west of Chapel, Florida. It's called Pop Stroke. Yeah, yeah. it was actually really cool. Really cool, right? Yeah. Um, Pop Stroke's like, uh, it's Tiger Woods owned uh, miniature golf course. So it's got two different courses on it. A bar, a restaurant, um, you know, upgraded putters. So, you know, the old school putters where you had to, you know, have like a doll end. And like, yeah, you know, it was real just, tiny. And yeah, it looked real tiny. You can actually get tailor-made clubs for an extra 10 bucks, I think, of what it was. Uh, really, really fun. So, you know, going there and doing the miniature golfing thing. Yeah. So, obviously, when you go and you do an activity like this, even if you guys don't like miniature golf, this might be a good one for you guys. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was and plus, fun. you got to like, you know... It is just you guys, technically. And it's not like a movie, because in the movies you don't talk, right? That's your silent moment. <laughs> Sometimes that's good for you too, so you can just sit next to each other, enjoy each other's company, and there is no need to talk. However, you do need to conversate sometimes. Yeah. So this is nice, because you know you would go to each hole, and yeah. like, you know, obviously we were playing, and you know, I'm an incredibly competitive individual. Um, I think that's honestly why John, one of the reasons John married me is because I'm so competitive. Um, I will never sit back and lose and I'll just, I'll just never lose. But I mean, I did lose by like a point or two, maybe three. Um, but it was, it was, I was close, right? You know, I didn't just have him destroy me. No, she did really good. <laughs> she did really good. You know, we started off, uh, you know, we got something to eat there real quick, which food was pretty good. Yeah. Um, you know, she had, uh, I think, a, a margarita, I had some water. It was really good, right? The, the experience, the service was really good. And those girls were the waitresses. I think she's working like 16 hours, you said, or something like that. Yeah. She did really good for doing that. Yeah. Um, and then after that, you know, we approached the course. And like Sheree said, we kind of got it. And, you know, she is competitive. <laughs> and I'm competitive, which is really good because you want some competitiveness with you guys. Now, it, Not shouldn't, bad be, competitive, it yeah. shouldn't be a competitive thing in everything you do. Right. Right. I did this. Well, I did this. I, that's not that's that type of competitive. No, no. Fun competitive. Fun competition, yeah. right? Funly Fun. competition. So, you know, we were going back and back, back and forth. Excuse me. And at that point, you know, we played pretty good. She played pretty good. And, <laughs> I was uh, ahead for a while. I was ahead for a while. By one, by I one messed stroke. up on one thing, just one thing, and then it was. Mm. She messed up a couple times, and I missed a hole in one. It was real close. It was like this close. So, but it was good, right? Yeah. We got to really talk about you know stuff that we don't really get to talk about like outside of work. Yeah, try and, to keep it non-work related. Yeah, you know, and, you know, we're having fun doing it. Took some video, so you guys will get to see some of this B-roll and stuff like that. Uh, but it was, it was cool. It was a good experience. It's fun. That's clean, right? And it's it's productive. So what do I mean by that? So. It doesn't have to involve drinking, drugs, right. any negative environment. It's a good, positive, clean environment. Um, and, you know, it's some sort of activity. Now, it's not going to be like playing a basketball game or a football game where you're expending all these different calories. But you are walking, you know, to hold a hole. You are swimming the clubs. I mean, it's a little bit of expenditure as far as calories go. But it's cool, right? Because, like I said, it's a bonding thing. Now, you guys have went and did this miniature golf. You guys can take pictures there. You know, it's it's setting up memories. Yeah. I mean, our picture we took, and I'm definitely going to give this over to you guys so you guys can see it. 
but I held the club up like this and it actually looks like I have a bicep. I mean, like I definitely don't have a bicep. <laughs> but in this picture, I mean, I was like super bicepping. Gunned up. <laughs> gunned up. I had guns, right? guns. It was fun. Uh, you know, we were there for only like probably about two hours, two and a half hours, I think that's yeah. what it was. Yeah, they had two courses. So they have like an easy course which obviously I'm like, we're definitely going there first because I'm not working my way backwards. And then the next time we come, we can go to the harder course. But yeah, we went around the whole thing and obviously there was a lot of people there and yeah. you know, you have to wait for them to go through there. Yeah. But it's really cool because they have like a bench pretty much yeah. at every single hole. Yeah. So like you can sit down, talk to each other for a little bit, yeah. you know, whatever it might be. But it's nice. It's just a nice environment. Got some music in the background and stuff. Yeah. They've got a big TV on the outside of it. And you'll yeah. see in one of these videos um, where like a big games, games are going on or whatever it is. You could be out there having a good time and still watch what's going on in the game. I mean, it's a pretty huge TV that's out there. Um, so that was, that was really cool. I mean, the other benefit was is they'll bring the drinks right to the hole wherever you're at. You just order them through the app and they'll bring them right to you, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I ordered mine and never came. We were at the end of the, <laughs> end, end of the night where they closed down the bar. Because we're I'm there like, that um, late. I ordered that at hole three. I figured I'd get it by hole six. We are now at hole 13, and I do not have my margarita. <laughs> both <laughs> courses, there's a red and a black one. Um, they went to 18 holes on both ones, which is really, really cool. So you guys might want to go try it, right? Yeah, it could be any like anything like that. I mean, all the putt-putt places are fun. Because, yeah. And even if you suck, because some of you guys yeah. might suck, huh? but even if you are not good at the game, you can still go have fun, right. you know? Um, just try though, so that way you're not like, you know, hitting the ball like that way and then this way and then this way again. Once you get to like three, just put it on the scorecard and just like, we're gonna move to the next hole. Yeah, right. And it'll be fun, it'll be fun. Keep it nice and fun like that. If not, it's like, are you gonna get it in the hole or what are you doing? We finished all ours, so I mean, we were pretty good. <laughs> Most of the par that we did was really, really good. Killed it. Um, it was good, it was definitely fun. <laughs> like I said, competition wise was there. And this isn't something you got. You don't got to go administer golfing, but we're giving you an example and want to show you like we practice what we preach. Yeah, we were out there and it was just it wasn't even something we thought about prior to, but we yeah. were there and we we're like, oh, this would be cool to share on Cupid's Corner because yeah. like it would have been nice to have somebody follow us around. And I was like, well, you know, not really. And yes, I would like to get you know some of the you know stuff we're doing, but I also that would also make us not alone. <laughs> we would not be alone. We would have somebody with a camera. So. Yeah, I preferred that because it was nice. <laughs> so, I mean, and you, like I said, whatever you guys are doing when you guys are going on these dates, take some video and take some pictures. Yeah. Just so you memories. can remember, you know, it's, it's memories, right? And you guys can cherish these memories. You guys can look back on these things. You guys can make collages later, these video collages that are online, all these different things. You can actually print photos now in beautiful frames and get them up. So, yeah. you know, you never know. And the cameras are so good on phones these days. Um, that you're going to get an excellent picture, excellent video. And you can show your kids later on or whatever it may be, right? It's just really, really cool. I wish that we had this technology when I was a kid. I was trying to ask John. I'm like, you yeah. don't have any, like, kid pictures or, like, where yeah. are your pictures? You know, and I was, child. I was born in 1981, so... I know, was born in 86. I, I know. So yeah, and that, I got so, pictures. So, well, I mean, I've got, I think my mom's got some pictures in a picture book and a scrapbook or whatever it is, I'm right? I'm getting with you, Diane. But there isn't, like, a whole bunch of, <laughs> it's not like what we have for Peter today. No, right? I mean, yeah, we have pictures of him every day. And, and think about it, it's all digital. Those things are never going to go bad, right, right, per right, se. Right, yeah. You can always, you know, send them anywhere you want. You yeah, can store cool. them in a cloud anywhere. And now you always got them. Yeah. The only the good thing about pictures before was it was something physical. Yeah, it was, it was tangible. It really cool, right? Tangible. You know, people would put them on the walls, put them on the fridge, whatever. And, you know, the downside of that is you might, those photos might get ruined, too. So. Yeah. These will never get ruined. So there's an upside and a downside yeah. to, to both, I guess. I agree. But it's it's just it's just something that, like I said, it, get those memories. It, it's something you should definitely do. For sure. Um, it's always good to live in the moment. So I was this person before where I always hold a camera and everywhere I went, and that's what I was focusing on: getting the picture, getting the video, and not really enjoying the moment. So now I've I've kind of flipped it where I'm enjoying the moment. Yay. And I want to get the pictures and video. So now, like, I'll, I'll pull it out because I'll have to tell myself, like, listen, I should really get this on video or a picture because I think it's going to be cool later on to look at, to share, whatever it may be. But I like to focus on the moment and enjoy what's going on around me. It's really cool because I don't get to do it a lot. So now I've been trying to tell myself, this is what you need to do. So enjoy the moment with your partner, too, yeah. as well, right? Now, don't just be focused on the picture and the video because you can just be doing this all day long. Yeah. But you're not focusing and on you'll, it. And you'll lose. It. 
you'll lose that window of opportunity to really be able to communicate and bond with your significant other. Yeah. And there's always good other good ways to get out there and get crazy, right? So, you know, this is more of like a chill, laxed, like, you know, date night. But you guys can go get some excitement too. Don't be boring. Um, there's different things you can do. So, you know, next month we'll probably do a Cupid's Corner uh, where me and Sharice are going to go to a music festival. And we'll get that on there. We'll get to show you some of the behind the scenes and kind of what's going on there. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, you know, I'm getting too old for some of these different things. But, uh, you know, a couple of my buddies, they, they want to go. It's the last hurrah type deal. And we're going to do it right, VIP style. So, you know, I'll go, you know, enjoy a little bit. I don't know how much I'm going to get to enjoy because I'm going to probably want to go to bed. I early. don't know how much we're getting on in camera. We're going to leave some of that off I'm gonna, the TV. I'm going to get some of the stuff <laughs> for you guys to see. It's in Vegas. Uh, you know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, Okay. Still very conservative. <laughs> so at that point, you guys get to see all the behind the scenes and some of that live stuff that's probably going on. Um, but I just want to share that because that's something you guys can do too. If you guys like music, you guys go to a concert. We're going. We are going somewhere this Friday. Yeah, we can do something this Friday. I'm so, saying we're going this. We're doing yeah, it Friday. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to go to a, a and local we have, venue we have a in table, Tampa. and we're, we're, every time we go somewhere, we have music, and then we dance. Yeah, we dance together. That's actually one of the, I think, and I'm sure he does too. One of like one of our favorite outlets. Because music is amazing. Yeah, definitely. So, guys, stay tuned because we're going to have awesome the behind the footage from this Friday going on maybe the next show because we always like to show you guys that too as well. Yes. And more great information, tips, and tricks to enhance, entice, and make your relationship probably one of the best ones you'll ever have, hopefully, right? So we'll see you guys next Sunday. Another Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. If you guys didn't get to watch it live, you can DVR it or just go over to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center, hit the subscribe and all the notification bell, and you guys will get all of the Cupid's Corner shows and a lot, lot more of our cool content. We'll see you guys next Sunday on Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. See you then.